Victor says yes. On the island of Sogo, the engines like to puff and huff their hardest. Sometimes they huff too hard. Their pistons pop. Their traction rods rattle. And then they must go to the steamworks to be fixed. Victor liked fixing engines, and he liked being busy. And today was a very busy day at the steamworks. Cars and engines were everywhere. Hurry up with those valves. We don't have all day, you know. Percy was waiting to be painted. I'd like to be gleaming and green, please, Victor. And Edward had to be fixed. My broken boiler is bothering me, Victor. Victor clickety-clacked along the tracks from one engine to another. I know, I know, my friends. You all need to be fixed. And you all want to be fixed right away. But I only have one set of wheels, you know. Then Sir Topham Hatt arrived on board. Gordon spluttered and stuttered as he steamed. Victor, Gordon's valves are blocked. They must be cleaned as soon as possible. The children are going on a boat trip. Gordon must be ready to take them to the docks at tea time. Victor was worried. There was no room for Gordon in the steamworks. And the workmen were all busy. But Victor didn't want to upset Sir Topham Hatt. Of course, sir. I will have Gordon puffing perfectly in no time. That made Sir Topham Hatt very happy. Well done, Victor. I'm pleased to see that you are a really useful engine. Really useful engines do their best, and they are the best. Thank you, sir. Thomas chuffed cheerfully up to his friend. Oh my, Victor. Sir Topham Hatt is very pleased with you. Victor puffed with pride. Thank you, Thomas, my friend. Now, what can I do for you? I have a loose foot plate. Victor knew he had too much to do. He knew he didn't have time to fix Thomas's foot plate, but he wanted to be the best. He wanted to be a really useful engine. Come on in, my friend. I'll fix your foot plate. Gordon, chuff back to let Thomas in. Come on, move over everyone, please. What about my blocked valves? And my broken boiler. And my gleaming green paint. And our valves. We were here first. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Slip of the hook. Victor huffed and heaved. All in good time, my friends. Fix Thomas's footplate, please. Then Emily steamed in. She had to collect an important visitor from Brendam Docks. Emily, my friend. Hello. What can I do for you? My buffers need a perfect polish. Victor knew he had too much to do. He knew he didn't have time to polish Emily's buffers. But he wanted to be the best. He wanted to be a really useful engine. Come along in, Emily, my friend. I will have your buffers polished perfectly. Emily wheezed and squeezed in front of Gordon. What about my blocked valves? My broken boiler. My gleaming green paint. My foot plate. Our valves. We were here first. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Slip of the hook. Fizzling fireboxes. Give Emily some room. Puff back. Puff back, please. What about my blocked valves? Then there was trouble. Black smoke and soot shot from Gordon's valves all over Sir Topham Hatt, who had just arrived in his bright blue car. Suddenly, Sir Topham Hatt's car wasn't bright blue anymore. It was black and sooty. Victor gasped. Fizzling fireboxes. Oh, the indignity. Heaving hooks. 
Was that meant to happen, boss? No, it was not. Sir Topham Hat was cross. What are you doing, Victor? My car is ruined, and Gordon isn't fixed and ready to take the children to the docks. I thought you were really useful. Victor felt terrible. I'm sorry, sir. This is a disaster, and it's all my fault. I wanted to show you that I really am the best, that I am really useful. So I tried to do everything, and I ended up doing nothing. Can I help, boss? No, thank you, Kevin. Now I must do something. Victor steams sadly to Sir Topham Hat. Sir, if you will let me, I can have Gordon ready in time. Your car will be bright blue again, all the engines will be fixed, and I will be really useful again. Sir Topham Hat could see Victor was sorry. Very well, Victor, but you'd better hurry. Victor smiled. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Please, my friends. I have been silly. Now I ask you to help me. I can fix all of you, but I cannot fix all of you at the same time. Some of you will have to wait. The engines hooted and tooted. We'll all help you, Victor. Standing by, boss. Victor smiled at his friends. Thank you. First of all, Gordon's valves must be cleaned. What about my buffers? Emily, my friend, your buffers are going to be beautiful for your visitor. Tomorrow, I will have them polished perfectly, but not today. What about my broken boiler? Victor smiled kindly at Edward. Your boiler will be bubbling soon. Please wait. Then Percy puffed out. I really want to be clean and green. Victor chuckled. I know you do, Percy. And you will be the greenest green there is. But maybe not today. Wait, please, with your friend Edward. Harry and Bert creaked across them. We were here first! I know you were, my friends. I have not forgotten you. After Gordon, it will be your turn. This made Harry and Bert very happy. Then, Victor chuffed to Thomas. And your footplate, Thomas, my friend. I was silly to say I could fix it today. Don't worry, Victor. I can easily come back tomorrow. Thank you, Thomas. Kevin trundled up. Good work, boss. Later, Victor looked happily around the steamworks. Then Sir Topham had arrived. Sir, Gordon's valves are cleaned and his funnel is steaming. Well done, Victor. I see you are once more a really useful engine. That made Victor very happy. Thank you, sir. Boss, do you think I'm really useful? Victor smiled. Yes, you are, my friend. We are really useful together. <laughs> <laughs>